the Attorney General, Ken Paxton, attempted to get a temporary restraining order. And one of the grounds that is indicated in his pleading is that terrorist organizations have infiltrated the very refugee program that's central to the dispute before this court. So he indicated that terrorist organizations have Im infiltrated, that it's, it's a fact, it's been done. And there's been a lot of discussion about that. The judge said the commission, and that's the Health and Human Services Commission, has failed to show by competent evidence that any terrorists actually have infiltrated the refugee program, much less that these particular refugees are terrorists intent on causing harm. Mr. Neistat, the, I think the conundrum here, and, and it, again, I said at the beginning, it's a very sensitive issue, but the conundrum is that that judge cannot guarantee you that they haven't. Okay, the judge cannot guarantee you that, that that no terrorists have infiltrated that the refugee group, and and we can't guarantee that they have. I mean, you just that's that's the challenge. You can't say for sure one way or the other, and and so I I, I recognize that those that want to disagree with the governor's position and and so forth, I, I understand where they're coming from, but they, you know, the challenge is that they can't guarantee that that there's no one trying to get in. You know, that there are no terrorists trying to get into the refugee resettlement program. That's the challenge. You can't, Mr. Neistat could not guarantee us that no one, no one who is coming over is a terrorist. You can't yeah, guarantee us that, right? I know. What and, I, and then the challenge to the point, Mr. Chairman, the, the challenge we have in the counterterrorism community, and when you've entrusted us with the responsibility of protecting Texans, is, 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 the, you know, is, the, is the probability, you know, Work the consequence based upon the threat, and in right now, the risk on the front end is so high that the, you know, to, to, to the extent that we can minimize that risk is a great value uh, to the state and to the country, and we're concerned about it because I tell you, we're concerned about every every day. We're concerned about the next attack, and we have to we have to be vigilant and proactive. 